Hello, my name is Pradi Walgre, and I will be presenting my research, my research paper on the prevalence and effects of cannabis on lung health during adolescence. So a primary trend that can be noticed, especially with the legalization of cannabis or marijuana, is the increased use of the substance in adolescents and students throughout the United States. So the main purpose of the study was to observe the positive perceptions of cannabis use among teenagers and how that may affect their lung health and to distinguish high school students' exposure to cannabis. So first things first, what exactly is cannabis? Cannabis, commonly known as marijuana, is a drug that primarily contains THC or tetrahydrocannabinol, one of the most commonly used substances in the United States and is used in many forms. Additionally, the potency of the drug has increased drastically over the course of the past decade. The primarily known effects of cannabis use during adolescence have been associated with a high risk of addiction, cognitive development delays, higher risk behaviors, and increased risk of mental health disorders. <clears throat> This particular age range is especially known to be more vulnerable to changes. Prior to conducting my research, I had read of a study conducted in Norway where students were observed throughout their teenage years. They were first questioned about cannabis and their thoughts of the use of the substance at the ages of 12 to 13, where majority had negative to neutral perceptions. However, when the same students were again questioned at the ages of 15 to 17, they seemed to have more positive perceptions of cannabis, and some were even beginning to use the drug. Although this trend has been becoming more common, not much is known about the biological effects of cannabis during the developmental period. However, we do know that cannabis use in adolescence, as mentioned before, has been linked with worse performance in attention, learning, and memory. This led to the essential research question. How do the positive perceptions of cannabis use amongst teenagers decrease the perceived negative impacts on their lungs? And to answer this research question, local high school students were surveyed anonymously about their cannabis use. <clears throat> In order to perform the survey, the very first step was sending out a consent. Participants who agreed to participate in this research study received a Google Forms survey after signing the consent. Some examples of the questions that were added were if the participant had ever tried cannabis and if so, what type and when they began using it. And if the participant had not tried cannabis, they were asked if they were ever offered it and if so, around which age range. Participant survey responses were kept completely anonymous and their consent form was not linked to the response. <clears throat> so we received a total of 20 responses to the form and 10.5% of participants reported to having tried cannabis in their adolescence. Those who had not tried it were directed to a separate page than those who had tried it. Here are some main key takeaways of the responses from the people who had not used cannabis. For those that did not use cannabis, we found that 23.5% of participants were offered cannabis before, pictured here in this graph from the survey. When asked to rank cannabis on a scale of one to five, one being very negative and five being very positive, majority of the participants who did not use cannabis ranked it as one, very negative. When asked about whether or not cannabis positively or negatively affects health, 82% of participants who did not use cannabis reported that it affects health negatively, and 17.6% reported positively. Moving on, here are some key takeaways from those that reported having used cannabis. Those that used cannabis most commonly started using it at the ages of 12 to 13 or 17 to 18. The most commonly used type of cannabis was found to be tincture or oil, such as a vape. 
The question below asking to rank cannabis on a scale of one to five, one being very negative and five being very positive, was the same question asked to both parties. And in this case, most participants ranked it as a three or four, being neutral or positive. When asked about whether cannabis has negatively or positively affected their health, some reported negatively while others reported positively. There was little to no distinction between the two. When questioned about lung health, participants reported coughing or wheezing and thought that cannabis positively affected their health. In general, it was found that a majority of participants in the age range of 13 to 18 did not use cannabis. However, it was found that a significant amount of these participants were offered cannabis sometime in the past. Those that did use cannabis had neutral or essentially positive opinions regarding their use, likely to be driven by a positive view of the drug, as noticed in previous researches regarding cannabis use in adolescents. 89.5% of participants had not used the drug, yet unexpectedly, 17.6% of this group reported to believe that cannabis has positive effects on health, seemingly having positive narratives of the substance despite having not used it before. As the information on the exact effects of cannabis on adolescents continues to evolve, the data collected from this survey is a clear representation of shifts of the perception of the drug in early ages driven from many factors. Hopefully, research continues to adapt and address and understand how teenagers can perceive and access cannabis and the overall effects on their health. These are the main references I used. And thank you so much for listening to my presentation.